Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing you another awesome math video. Uh, this one on finding the equation of a line in y equals mx plus b form. Um, so this is a standard question, grade 9, grade 10, um, that you might see where you have uh, a graph given and you need to find the equation of a line. So the one that I'll do in this video, and there are three different equations of lines, I will do y is equal to mx plus b, which is probably by far the most common form used. Um, so if you're looking for a different form, you can check out one of my other videos, whether it be standard form, or I guess it's called general form, sorry, and uh, slope point form. So in this one I'll do slope, this is called slope intercept form, or y equals mx plus b. So the reason why they call it slope intercept form is because the m here is the slope, and the b value is your y intercept, and forgive my writing once again. Much it's really difficult trying to write with this uh, pen tablet. So yeah, so you here you have your slope and your y-intercept. So really, those are the only two things that we need to find from a graph to be able to get y equals mx plus b and get the equation of a line. So the first thing I'll do is the easy part, I guess, of this exercise is to identify the y-intercept. I'm just going to move my computer one second to get a bit close to me. Um, so the y-intercept. If you look on your graph, it's right here. I'm going to change my color because my graph is blue. Um, it's right here. So that is my y-intercept. So my b value is negative 2. So now I need to find the slope. So all you got to do is identify on the y-axis, um, you know, where it crosses the y-axis, the y-intercept. So the graph's here. This is the y-axis, of course. So hopefully we know that. And it crosses right there, so that is the y-intercept. So the second thing now I need to do is find the slope. So all you need to do to find the slope, and um, this is an important skill, is you need to make a triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for two good points that the I know for sure the line goes through. So if I look right here, the y-intercept is one, and here's another one, and here's another one. So I'm going to make a triangle out of this. So right up here and then go across. So that is my def my best triangle I can give you. So the first thing we need to remember about slope is slope is rise over run. So the rise is up or down and the run is left or right. So if you look at my little triangle that I have made here, I'm going to redraw this guy. You know what I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do a little bit neater. So let me give me one second. So there we go, and there we go. So there's my triangle a little bit better. Um, so if I look here, I go up one, two, three, four. So my rise is up four, which means positive four. Up is positive, and then my run is one, two units to the right. So that represents my run, and because I'm going right, it's positive. So then I'll just divide this, 4 divided by 2, of course, is 2. So that gives me my slope. So now that I have these two things, what I need to remember to do is write up my final equation. y is equal to mx plus b. So my slope is 2x um, minus 2. You can have plus negative 2 if you want to there as well. So there is the slope of that line. So that's uh, you know a pretty straightforward way of doing that type of question. Let's do another one just for uh, to make sure we got the hang of this. So this one's a little bit different. It's uh, you know you can see that it's angled the other way, and um, so again we're looking for y equals mx plus b. So y is equal to mx plus b. So I need to find my slope. And my y-intercept. So my y-intercept is usually the easiest thing to find. So I look on my graph where does it cross. So if I look at crosses right here. And that is at, looks to be at 8. So my y-intercept is 8. <clears throat> now I need to make a triangle. So if I look here, I see a big triangle right away. So I'm going to make that one. Recognize it doesn't matter what triangle you make, how big or how small it is. Um, I like making, you know, big triangles. Um, some people like making the smallest ones possible. Some people um, don't even do triangles. So whatever works for you, if you can see it, not draw, it's up to you. So if I look here, I'm going to the right. One, two, three, four units. So my run 
is 4. And if you look here, I'm going down. So remember, up is positive, down is negative, left is also negative, and right is positive. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So negative 8. So my slope is a rise over run. Should be ingrained in our heads, of course. And my rise is negative 8. It went down 8. And my run is 4. You could have also I had the opposite. You could have went up and then left. It doesn't really matter. And then that's what we end up with, negative 2. So that will give, give us our equation. y is equal to negative 2x plus 8. And there it is. There's my y equals mx plus b form. Um, fairly straightforward questions, um, but really important to understand. And uh, hopefully this video makes it a little bit easier to understand. One last thing that I'll say, if you look at the slopes of these two lines, so this is often important to recognize, if, and, a, and a good way to check and see if you did your slope calculation correct. If you look at this guy, this has a positive slope, because as you move further right on the x-axis, it goes up. So it's moving up and to the right. Where So that means a positive slope. So up and to the right is a positive slope for the, your line, and down and to the right so it's going down as it moves to the right, um, it's a negative slope. So that's a good way of recognizing um, whether or not you have sort of a decent um, decent check to see to make sure you have the sign on your slope right anyway. So I uh, hope this helps, guys. I'll see you in class. Got any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching.